Hi everyone, I'm Jan from Sew It Online and I have the pleasure of showing you this one of my favorite machines on the market. It's a Janome, it's an 8900. Now, there's a little story behind this machine which you may or may not want to hear but I'll tell you. What has happened is Janome came out with a machine that was a little flatbed machine, maybe 10, 12 years ago, 6,500, then it went to a 6,600, and it was a little flatbed, but it went through anything and everything you ever wanted to put it. So it had the most powerful precision stitch on it that any machine could possibly have. So what happened is us as dealers absolutely fell in love with the machine. It never broke down, never gave us any hassles. The consumers loved it. Precision beyond belief. But you as sewers, you as the, as, the re, as the buyer wanted a bigger opening. Do you see how much bigger of an opening I have now rather than a little machine? And the other one did not have an open arm on it. So therefore, I now have the big sister. And what happened is they gave me 10 more times more lighting. They gave me the very sleek open arm, but look how wide it is. And I have another 12 inch opening from needle to the end. This is for the serious quilter. You want to put your big quilt through and stitch in the ditch. You want to do free motion. This is your success. This is what you want to do. It just closes easier than that. I don't know why I made it so hard. Okay, I do like that I can open so because I can get my thread out if I ever get it tangled. Fun, fun, fun things on the machine. The big sister has taken it over. Now what happened, which I'll show you the most important feature of this machine. We're talking about a serious sewer here that sews on a variety of fabrics or does a lot of quilting. But when you sew, you and I both know that when you put two pieces of fabric together like this, many times one shifts a little bit. Therefore the walking foot came out. And we had this great big monster of a walking foot we had to attach. Well, what happened with that, it's, it works, it does a lot better job, and it's available for all sewing machines. However, it isn't as precision where the needle isn't going up and down with the feed exactly perfectly. So voila, they put us in a machine that has got feed dogs, and I can take this foot off. I don't know if you can zoom in here good enough, but there's feed dogs here. Let's see if this helps. Can you see the feed dogs on, on the top that match up exactly with the feed dogs on the bottom? You got it? Now I got feed that are going exactly like this pulling your material through, going and getting more exactly evenly. The greatest concept they ever put on a sewing machine is a built-in walking foot. If you are serious about what you're doing, that will make a big difference on the precision of what you are. I know you put a zipper in and one side went this and it went cattywacky. I know you've gone down big things of draperies or something and then you got ripple 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 you will never ever ever have that with this machine so that's one of my go-to's for that reason I don't like to do things twice I don't like to touch a hand or a seam ripper very often if I don't have to of course I do my share but you get what I mean and number two I wanted to go through whatever fabric I want to with ease I don't want to play around so I'm going to put this foot back on now another thing I could talk for hours Another thing is, is that this foot is designed for everyday sewing, but the consumer wanted more, so they gave us a foot like this for a quarter of an inch. They gave us a foot like this for a stitch in the ditch, and we finally got them to give us a stitch like this for a zipper. So what do you want a zipper fit, foot for? Huh. You want to put your zipper in? and not have any twisting and turning or moving or shifting, you can use your walking foot that's built into your machine at the same time as you're doing your piecing. 
you can do it at the same time as doing your stitch in the ditch. Best thing is, now watch real closely, all I have to do is snap on. It's kind of like the snap on you might have on one of your machines, but super, super, super. Greatest thing and the most important reason, and it's number one reason why I tell people this is the machine for you. If you are an all around quilter, here you go. If you want to go into, uh, a, you want to do upholstery one day, you want to do silk the next day, you want to do whatever you want to, you're into costuming, this machine will sew through anything at all you ever want to do. So it's the lowest price that I can get you the top of the line features and built with the built in walking foot. So that's why I like it a lot. Um, all right, let's go over the features on the front of the machine a little bit. And I'll tell you what's gone on in our sewing industry over the years. As many times back in the day when Singer was so popular, the other brands were so popular, they, they were a heavy duty workhorse and those machines are 70 years old and they're still working, some of them, they're all metal. So then what happened is that was your Fof, your Viking, your Bernina, your, your, your brands were extremely, extremely heavy, heavy duty machines but the consumer wanted a lighter weight machine. They wanted something portable. They wanted this, they wanted that. So some of the companies went to a lighter weight machine to give the consumer what they wanted. What's happened now is we are into our craft very strongly. Sewing is very, very big. And different fabrics is very, very big. Before we used to sew on cotton, cotton, wool, wool, cotton, cotton, wool. Well, that's not what we're sewing on anymore. We've got all these microfibers, we've got microfiber knits, we've got this new s snuggle s cuddle c fabric for the backing of our quilts. We've got rayons, polyesters, and then a mix of it all. We have quilting fabric walking in the door that's got a little bit of rayon in it, 10%, 10, 10 but it's given a different feel that you're gonna absolutely love. It's going that direction. With this machine, you're gonna be able to sew through anything. The features that I like you to know about is I like that the extra opening, it's bigger than any other machine to be able to see how much I can get underneath there. We also have a knee lift. Now some of you are gonna say, I don't need a knee lift. I have a knee lift that was on my machine and it made my machine go. So what a knee lift is, is it's gonna lift the presser foot with my knee. Can you see what's happening? I've got a knee lift over here. It has nothing to do with the stop start. It's nothing to do with it. And if you decide that you're gonna get a machine like this and you get a knee lift with it, I want you to take my classes because I'm gonna make you understand that knee lift. I've had people come in and I take six people in a class and I make them do a log cabin quilt, which just goes around and you build and build and build and build. And in the beginning, they're swearing, I don't like that thing, I don't like that thing, and ooh, 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 ooh. By the time I get them done with going around that thing six times, they've developed a new habit, and they can't believe how much easier it is. So stay with me, because we will teach you these things in our Sew It Online classes. I even have cool classes on how to, how to cord your buttonhole. I have classes on how to do all your handwork by machine. So, and then fun stuff. Look at all these cool things we got here. So Sew It Online is going to teach you out how to do it. So what we're going to do is to just go through the basic functions of the machine right here at my fingertips. It will not be long. I give it 10 years and sewing machines probably won't come with foot controls. Maybe 15, sometimes it takes a while. Right now they're coming with a foot control and a stop start button. And that is the reason for sewers that are my age are used to a foot control, we're gonna stay with a foot control. The young folks, as we start off with these 30 year old sewing, they're doing it with their hands because they're doing it how it's been planned. See how my hand is here. Now I have scissors, I have needle up, needle down. I have an automatic stop, my favorite feature in the whole world, my reverse and my stop start. So I can unplug my sewing machine, I repeat, I have a foot control. I'm trying to teach you the new way. When we worked commercially, this is what we had. Our hands were always here on our work. Our knee lifted the presser foot for me. See what I'm doing? And our hands were here so you could piecemeal from piece to piece. Doesn't take much to get your quilting to be able to do here. I'm going to start. Say I want to reverse. I want to stop. 
Coolest thing is, now watch this, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to lift my presser foot off. Watch, 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 watch. Put my next piece back on. I'm going to start sewing. Reverse again. Keep right on going. So you didn't have to hold your threads. You never saw me turn the hand wheel. You never saw me stop. So you can go from piece to piece to piece. Right here is a speed control. I'm going to close it down a little bit so for camera sakes for you that you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little easier. However, when I'm sewing, 90% of the time I'm full blast until I get into some precision stuff. Top stitching in particular, this makes a big difference. Let's talk about needle up, needle down. If you are a quilter, the number one thing you want is every time you stop, the needle will stop in the down position or maybe the, the top position. So I'm going to stop, my, lift my press, my, with my knee lift, I'm lifting my knee, turning my fabric, readjusting, and keep right on going. So anytime that I want to stop, my needle will stop in the full down position. This will lift up and I will keep right on going. Do you get it? So a knee lift is keeping your hands here on your work. Not here, not here. It will take you 20 minutes if you force yourself to understand these features. But I get people all the time that come into our store and they say, I don't even use that, I don't know what it's about. Let's don't do that. Let's take the classes on Sew It Online and let's learn it and get it and get it down. So it's a fabulous feature. I wouldn't be without it on a sewing machine. Again, what we're talking about is the lift that lifts the material up and down so I can pivot, I can go wherever I want to. Can you try to imagine that you've got a big quilt in here and you're quilting here and then you're quilting here and you're quilting here and you're quilting here and possibly doing a rag where you're coming like this? Don't you think it's going to be a lot easier to just turn your fabric like this with this great big opening that I have as well as the knee lift as well as the pivot picture, pivot feature. Okay, now let's keep on going. My ultimate favorite function on any sewing machine is automatic stop. Now what that means is I'm going to sew along and I'm going to pretend, let's see how you can see this best. I'm going to go up on the orange and go about two stitches and guess what? I want to stop right there on that dot. So what I do is I push this third button here. It's a circle and a dot. The favorite thing in the world because it stops on a dime. Now try your machine. Most machines, you have to take your knee, you have to stop and then you have to move the needle back and put it in exactly where you want it to be. On this machine, it will stop on a dime. Now it knotted it. Get this, it knotted it. I don't have to reverse, it knotted it. Now I'm going to reach up and cut my threads and you got it. I'm going to use my knee lift and it is pulled over and I hope that you can see it made about a half of an inch knot. You don't have to cut it. You're done. That's going to hold that together. But I don't have reverse going three or four times. Many times that you start even reverse, sometimes it pucker, pucker, puckers. Not going to on here. But most importantly, it's going to sew. But when you want to stop, when you want to do the top stitching, when you want it to do it, you're coming up under underarm seam, or you're on your quilting, more importantly, after you've done your X's, you don't want to reverse right there. You want to knot it and have it gone. So that's a really cool thing to be able to do. Notice that even though I just did that knotting, I can put my fabric back in again. I can start sewing. Oops, I better push start, not reverse. I can reverse and keep right on going. And I didn't have to hold my threads. Reverse again if I want to. Stop, reach up, cut my threads and I can just lift my presser foot up and I'm ready to go again and again and again and again. So what's so special about this machine is exactly what I showed you. What it also has is all the newest quilting stitches. When you get into a machine like this, you got eight different sizes of buttonholes. Why do you need them? You're going to learn that. You're going to take the videos on Sew It Online and you're going to learn. You're going to take the quilting stitches. What do we do with them? We make them look like handwork. We have a whole quilt that we do online where it's one block a month and it makes you do 
double needle quilting, double needle pin tucking, triple needle, chenille, bobbin work, fringe work, all the different functions that you would want to know. And I get you to take that class and you will, your imagination will go farther because you're going to say, I got all these cool stitches, what do I do with them? Follow me and you will learn and you will get using them. And then you're going to want more, but not really. This one gives you everything you'd ever want. This is a machine for a very serious sewer that wants everything precision, easy to use, heavy duty. It can't, can't need a whole lot more. I really like the opening because it's the lowest price that's going to get me the opening and the walking foot. Remember that walking foot back here that's built in? Everybody has a walking foot attachment that they can use on their old singer from 40 years ago. It is not the same than a precision one that's going through your material like this. Get the difference? I really want you to understand it. The machine has hundreds of stitches on it. It's also a nine millimeter stitch, which means the stitches are very wide and pretty, the prettiest on the market. It comes with a variety of all kinds of accessory feet. This is a table that is built specifically for it so that you can have your flat surface. Most of us who are serious quilters, this is what we want. But they had to build us with these steel legs so that there's no shifting. So it doesn't take up a lot of room in your house, but it's solid. It's not a, a, a flimsy table at all. Then when I want to use the open arm, I just come like this and I have it to be able to use the open arm. So the table is a really, really, really nice addition. I have it in my sewing room. This comes with it, however. This is an extension table that if the machine was up on your dining room table or were on your desk, you get this to come with it. This is probably $140 to order. So it's going to come right with this machine in your packaging, which is a real nice thing for Janome to do. But they know who the serious quilters are and they know exactly what they want. So this has got, you may have seen me learn, teach you about tri-motion, tri-motion overcasting, tri-motion stretch straight, all these different things. Trust me, the machine has it all. Every single thing that's on any sewing machine whatsoever is on here. You're not going to get cheated. You'll have to spend more if you want embroidery and all this quality. But if you're looking for a dependable sewing machine, that's going to be in your household for the next 30 years. It's not going to give you any grief at all. I can all suggest to you this one very, very strongly, especially when you want this. And I'll tell you with this walking foot feature, if you have this for two weeks, you will never give it up. People walk in my store all the time. I need a, new, I need a machine for my granddaughter. It's got to have the built-in dual feet. So that's a very, very, very important feature. Again, get with me online on Sew It Online. I want you to learn these machines that you've got, take the classes, watch the videos, and learn what these machines do. I don't want you buying a machine like this and continue doing straight stitching. There's a ton of more stuff that we have to show you, and you're going to be very excited when you learn. So hope to see you soon.